Scientific notation is useful to represent numbers which are very large or very small, which often occur in the sciences, hence the name. For instance, the Earth weighs about 13 septillion 170 sextillion pounds, written here in standard notation or written here in scientific notation. Another example is computer calculation speeds, which are often measured in nanoseconds. One nanosecond is one billionth of a second, written here in standard notation or written here in scientific notation. Notice that a large number written in scientific notation has a positive exponent and a small number written in scientific notation has a negative exponent. It's helpful to keep this in mind when switching from standard to scientific notation or from scientific to standard notation. So looking at our first example, if we want to convert this to scientific notation, of course we can't change the value, but we can change the way it looks. We're going to want one digit in front of the decimal, so if a decimal is not written, we'll have to put it in, and then keep up with the fact that we want to move it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. This will give us 9.431, and I can drop these trailing zeros times 10 to the seventh. Obviously, if I took this number and multiplied it by 10 to the seventh, I would move the decimal seven places and I would have to put in zeros to hold these empty places. So I've preserved the value. Looking at our next example, if we want to write this number in scientific notation, there's already a decimal sitting here, but we'll have to move it one, two, three places. This would give us four point nine two seven one five times ten to the third. Looking at our last example, if I want to change this number to scientific notation, I'm going to have to move the decimal one, two, three, four, five places but notice I'm going in the other direction. This is a very small number to start with. When we represent this in scientific notation, you get 6.23 times 10 to the negative 5. If we were to multiply 6.23 times 10 to the negative 5th, we would get back to our original number. That would really be 6.23 times 10 to the negative fifth is 1 over 10 to the fifth or a 1 with 5 zeros. So we would really have 6.23 over, what is that, 100,000. And this would cause us to move the decimal back five places. The point of this is just to show that we've actually represented this number in scientific notation. It's helpful to understand this, but you certainly don't have to show it.
now we're to go from scientific notation to standard notation. So we start with our 8.56 and because this is 10 to the fourth we're going to take this decimal and go four spaces. We'll need zeros to hold these spaces so we end up with 85,600. I should mention here that it, the directions may say convert to standard notation. They may also say write without exponents. And as you can see, there's no exponents here. So to convert this to standard notation, or write it without exponents, we start with our 3.0. And because this is 10 raised to the 7th, we'll take this decimal and move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places. We'll hold these places with zeros. And we end up with 've copied all the zeros put in some commas and looking at our last example uh, notice we have a negative exponent here so we'll start with 4.052 but because this exponent's negative we know that we're talking about a very small number, so I will make this 4.052 smaller by six decimal places. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll put the decimal right there. I'll need zeros to hold the places. So we end up with point zero 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 four zero five two if you would like a little practice with these concepts as long as you're at my website I have a worksheet along with a detailed answer key